What's good, YouTube, man? It is your boy, Solid, back with another Solid Reaction, bro. And we back with another Larry Bird video, baby. This video just dropped today, bro, and I saw it, and I said, bro, we're going to go ahead and check it out, man. NBA Legends explain why Larry Bird was feared by everyone, man. I'm ready to check this one out, man. I hope y'all guys have been enjoying the videos we have been putting out, man. I do appreciate all the love and support, but do me a favor with this video, man. Hit that like, subscribe, share it with your peeps. Let them know Solid is the way to go when it comes to these reactions because we always bring it heat and we always bring in talent. Thank y'all guys for checking this video out. Let's get active. Dribble two times, I'm gonna hit your ass in the face and it, and it bet not touch the rim. And it bet not touch the rim. Hey guys, this is Dominique Wilkins. And this is Sean Kemp. This is Gary Payton. Hey, this is Paul Gasol. NBA fans, what's up? This is Vince Carter here. Hey, what's up? This is Matt Barnes. If you're an old school NBA fan like I am, make sure you check out the basketball time machine with my man Sean Davis. Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, Welcome back to the enough. Basketball Time Machine. My name is Sean David. Thanks for tuning in. Let's talk some old school NBA basketball. In today's episode, I want to take a look at NBA legends talking about who else? Larry Legend, Larry Bird. And I know we have had quite a few of these episodes, but fortunately, I found some new clips. So oh, you know, we got new clips. clips. We got some new clips. Haven't seen before. But enough of that. I would say without any more blah blah. Let's get right into it. Let's get into it. Now the first clip that I want to take a look at is from Brian Shaw, who obviously played alongside Larry Bird when he was playing for the Boston Celtics. And I gotta be honest, I was so happy when I saw that clip. It made me laugh so hard because it simply shows how Larry Bird was Larry Bird. Let's take a look. While you're there in Boston, you play alongside the Bird, uh, Larry. What was the most memorable stories with Larry that you can tell us about? Because we all know how notorious of a shit talker he was. Yeah, that was that was it. I mean, how much shit he talked, right? Because I thought when I first got there and having grown up on the West Coast and always pulled against the Lake, uh, the Celtics when they were playing against the Lakers, you know, during the Showtime days, um, I was like, man, they letting this white boy who, who can't jump, who's not athletic, kill them like that. He ain't that damn good yeah. until I got there. Yeah. And I remember one of the first practices, um, he told me and Reggie Lewis, he said, I want to play you guys one on two. <laughs> one on two? Right? So, bro, like, hey, come on. Bro, call me one on two. He said, bro, I'm about to, I'm about to cook both of y'all one on two, bro. Go ahead, line it up, bro. Both of y'all together. You and you. I'm about to cook both of y'all because y'all both going to need to guard me. If he fly by, you might have to be the one who step up. But y'all both going to have to play today, bro. Oh, God, I like that. That's what I'm talking about. These are the stories that they don't talk about. Bro. Man, Larry Bird. Cooking people, bro. I'm good yeah. until I got there. Yeah. And I remember one of the first practices, um, he told me and Reggie Lewis, he said, I want to play you guys one on two. <laughs> up, to, up to seven, right? So up to like, seven. Like, Come on, man. He was like, the only catch is I get the ball first. So me and Reggie look at each other. We like, yeah, all right, man, whatever. So the next thing you know, it's six nothing. Yeah. <laughs> right? We ain't even touched the ball yet. He hits his first six shots. Yeah. So when it got to be six nothing, and we go into seven, we like, cause it would be like one of us would guard him and another one would be ready to try to get the rebound. So we was like, fuck that, we double teamed him. <laughs> he finally missed, we got the ball. And then we just kind of played keep away from him. We end up coming back and winning seven to six. So yeah. then I was like. Bro, but still letting him go up six on y'all is crazy, bro. That's crazy. You got to live with that, bro. Back Going six. Seven to six. So yeah, then I was bro. like, and that was one of my early experiences with him. I was like, okay, all right. He, he got a little bit more than what I what I thought he had. Then when we started playing, he was cooking everybody, but talking shit and telling them about it. The best guy I played against might have been, uh, you know, Larry Bird, someone yeah. like that. How good was Michael Bird? Jordan. People, I don't think people people, people look appreciate. at him and think, yeah, oh, he's a white guy, he's, slow he's, guy. You tell me nah. why he wore <laughs> us out, man. you know? Because he just this, he gifted this muscle here, the one between his ears, was crazy. That was, his best, you know, because he, he made the three pointers and he had assists and rebounded, steals. He was always at the right place at the right time on the court, you know, 
one of the great players I, you know I, I had the opportunity to play with. And the I next agree. clip that I found was from a sitting between Reggie Miller, Isaiah Thomas, and Larry Bird. And it reminded me so much of NBA Open Court. I miss that show so much, man. NBA TV, come on, bring it back, bring it back. We old school fans, we need that. Anyway, let's take a look at the clip. You will enjoy it. Your record-breaking 60-point <laughs> in New Orleans versus the Atlanta Hawks. Say over the right side. Bird the uh, give me that the one. Atlanta Hawks. Yes, yeah, we yeah. Were Have all you seen that, that video? I did a few oh years ago. God. Somebody that, just tell to me, me that's trash oh, talking that was good. by the way you play. Yes. <laughs> because when you got the other bench yeah. acting <laughs> to what you're doing against yes. them, yeah, it's spectacular. Well, that's oh because my God! For me, one time so hard. They find Wilkins. Look out! And the foul will be on Larry. He put it behind his head too. So every time I played him, I'm trying to do my best. <laughs> See, he take that like a vendetta. He said, "Hey, it's this is all because Dominique Wilkins dunked on me, and every time I played them after that, I did my best, bro. I wanted to cook the crap out of the whole team." Uh, give me that in the lap knock down bro i know that arena was crazy bro it is the greatest shooting exhibition i've ever seen in my life 1991 game five in the old boston guard larry goes down with the bang oh my god larry goes down goes to locker room start to third no larry Couple minutes go by, no Larry. We're looking at one another like, we, we got a chance. We're going to do we this. We're going to beat yeah. the Celtics yeah. in the garden. No. Doctor says you had enough. You can't. You can't go back out there. Enough's enough, Larry. Come on back and this. Six, forty-six. I remember it to this day. <laughs> he said, "I remember the time." And I remember looking at Chuck, and we said to ourselves, "You in trouble?" <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. no six minutes. Celtics go on a 33 to 14 run ah. and they beat us in game five. But that moment of watching you, look, I know we were you're supposed to be competitors, but you know, I'm going against the guy who I patterned my game after, and you put on an unbelievable performance. That's crazy, Bird man. The Celtics were in their prime. I said they were almost impossible to go in there and beat. And they said, why? I said, because you could not make a mistake with them. If you turn your head or you don't rotate right on time or whatever it was, those guys made you play. And it was him. Like he was like, a, he was a savant on the court, like just a savant, like two plays ahead on everything. And so Dang. Um, I, I was just talking about this uh, maybe three or four days ago, how hard it was to go into Boston and be the team when Bird is in his prime. I don't know if you remember this game, Larry, but we playing at Hartford. It was an exhibition game. We went up one and we walk out on the court and Benson is guarding Larry, right? And Larry looks at me and he go, he was calling me cheesy. He go, cheesy, like you, you putting him on me? <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, you, you putting him on me? I was, like, I was like, that's all I got, man. That's all I got right now. And he go, I'm taking right down to the baseline. I'm shooting right over him. So, oh my after God. The game, all buses were lined up next to each other, right? And Larry goes, Hey man, don't don't ever put that guy on me. <laughs> right? So the next year, coming back, right? We playing in Hartford again, and I I said, Larry, I got some for your ass. Nah, I said, rob me. <laughs> I said, this is, I said, I got somebody for you now. But they were they were great teachers, and and the lesson was, you know, you you got to play at a high level. You know, a lot of you yeah. folks may not really remember Larry Bird that well, but. That man was a magician, and yeah, no, he was amazing. And uh, he was six nine, and he had the skill set of, of of a guard of six he foot six fast. two. Yeah, he wasn't that great of an athlete, but he had the heart of a lion. And um, and so playing against him was kind of my real first taste of man. That's I, I want to do that, right? I want to compete against that every day. That's the kind of thing that's going to make you a monster. And there were a lot of great players. I mean, make no mistake, I faced a lot of great players every day. But I think when I came into the league, Larry Bird was at his peak, and he was he was incredible at what he did, and um, and he was humble, and he he came to work every single day, and I admired that. And so I think he was my he was my favorite to play against, particularly early in my career. Who talked the most? 
We talked about you. What was Jordan a big talker? He would when he get it going and you go at it. Oh. To okay. me, he wasn't like that. He'll say stuff and get down at you, but he wasn't a shit talker. I think Larry Bird and, and what? Reggie what? Miller was the best talker. Who? Larry Bird was a cold. And who? who? Reggie Miller. Reggie? They was the coldest shit talkers Oh my ever. golly wally. Let me be on, on, be on, on You learn from the best. Larry Bird would tell you. That's crazy because you know Reggie Miller ended up being like coached by Larry Bird. So you know you learn from the best. And that's something I could see happen. Larry Bird talking crap and so would Reggie Miller. Like it's just right there. I'm gonna take you over to this corner. I'm gonna dribble two times. I'm gonna hit your ass in the face. And it, and it bet not touch the rim. Then he said, if it do, I'm gonna come right back and do it again until it touches. It. That's how Larry Bird used to get out. Wow. That's crazy. Yeah, Larry Bird was the coldest shit talker ever, man. And he bag it up because he was so cold. That's you know crazy. what I'm saying? So people ask people about him. Motherfucker used to tell you, boy, you can't do shit with me. I'm too motherfucking good for this. Wow. <laughs> I'm gonna give you a Christmas present. This jumper in your face. Oh you my know, God, this internet bro. has so many advantages and disadvantages, but one advantage is that you have access to so many opinions of former NBA players. And I love to hear those clips first-hand information of players talking about my favorite players and it also helped me that's to crazy get more insights about larry bird i mean obviously i watched games i read articles but hearing it firsthand again it's just something different so it's great to have that you guys let me know in the comments below is larry bird also one of all right man that's the end of this video bro y'all know i always like watching larry bird larry bird is one of them players that we just all love bro and i don't think there's a, i don't think there's a hate group for larry bird like i wish i could find a hate group for larry bird because no one hates him be not not for any reason like i think he's beloved by all communities whether it be you know the black community the white community the spanish community i really think this is the one player in the league that is by loved by all i think this player gave us some of the greatest basketball of his life and then he gave us the greatest era in basketball as well he gave us something to hold on to cling on to man i really admire larry bird i mean growing up he was a player that i watched i didn't really mimic my game after but i did watch because you know it's it's astounding to watch a player do what he does night in and night out and not give the man his flowers bro that's just what it is but, man, if y'all guys did enjoy this video, man, and y'all want to see more reactions like this, man, do me a favor, man. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you never miss another solid upload. And make sure y'all leave a comment because the comments really do go a long way. I'll see y'all in the next video. Peace.